you're gone and I got to stay high all the time to keep you off my mind. High all the time to keep you off my mind. Spend my days locked in a haze trying to forget you, babe. I fall back down. Gotta stay high all my life to forget I'm missing you. Uh, toes low. Habits. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I need somebody and always this sick, strange darkness comes creeping on so haunting every time. And as I stare, I counted the webs from all the spiders catching things and eating their insides. Like indecision to call you and hear your voice of treason. Will you come home and stop this pain tonight? Stop this pain tonight. Well, that's good shit right there. Blink 182. Miss you. Uh. I miss you. Miss you. Good stuff. Sometimes I'm caught off guard. A lot of times I'm caught off guard by uh, writers. I have no musical inclination. I appreciate music, but I, I don't have any musical aptitude, really. I suppose I could, you know, learn to play a guitar, but I would always be a person playing a guitar. I would not be a musician. But I have been known to put the pen to paper. <laughs> it seems I have an aptitude there, slightly. I love both of these songs because they really drive home the if you love something set it free if it comes back to you it was meant to be if it doesn't hunt it down and kill it <laughs> I always like that little added part Ah, the bruised ego. Rejection. I know it well. I think we all do, don't we? If you've lived, you know rejection. That was easy. Mm. I mean, if I bring things to the table, in a prospective relationship, and it turns into a relationship, Well, if at some point I learn, I discover that you have moved on emotionally in your heart, does it hurt? Well, yes, if I'm emotionally attached at this point, it does hurt. But you and me and me, we've changed. Since we first met, we've changed. Things change. People change.
So, I guess, there, you know, there's varying degrees, obviously, of relationships. How deeply immersed you can get with uh, another, emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally. But at some point, one or both of you have, have changed. One of you certainly has, if you find yourself here, wondering about the other person. As Marvin Redman would say, excuse me, as Marvin Redman would say, Stop wondering. If you have to chase after something, you better make damn sure it's worth chasing. Damn sure. And if you have to chase it, how does that stack up to walking into a room and seeing somebody and they see you? Do you see the difference there? In the second little snippet I just added? In that scenario, it is highly unlikely. It's highly unlikely. You know, I'm talking that love at first sight stuff. It happens. It happens. Whether it's chemical or whatever. It's highly unlikely that if those two people meet in that scenario, that love American style, the storybook, romance, you know, the love at first sight and it works and three months later they're married and, you know, that's wonderful and it, it can happen. But I don't think that's the norm. Do you? I mean, how many times have you walked into a room and seen them, quote unquote, and just knew that it was destiny? No, most of the time you meet somebody, a prospective partner, somebody that you'd like to get to know better, and you come together slowly. You vet each other. Oh, online dating will do that for you. It'll make you a great better. Don't do it. Don't do it any better. Don't do it, John. Okay, I won't. <clears throat> yeah, it'll make you a better better. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, the best thing I can tell you here, if you're younger and you're listening to this, you find yourself involved with somebody. Remember this. That you have value. You are worthy. You are beautiful. Amen. Yes, Daddy. I am beautiful. See, I never have to chase Daddy. Daddy is always here. 